All right, we're going to go ahead and solve for the double angle of this angle for the sine 2 theta, uh, double angle of sine and cosine, and then the half angle of sine and cosine. So I know the cosine of the angle, any given angle in this case, is going to be equal to 3 over 5. That means that the adjacent side is e down here. It's going to be 3, and the hypotenuse is 5 which means that 5 squared minus 3 squared is equal to, f uh, square root of that is equal to 4. Oops. So what that does is um, that let, lets me know immediately what to go off of here. So to solve for the sine of 2 theta, the double angle, I'm going to do this. So I know I'm going to use, start off with my formula up here, right here for 2 theta. So I know sine 2 theta is going to be equal to 2 times um, sine, which is equal to 4 over 5, times the cosine, which is 3 over 5. And this ends up being equal to, equal to 2 times 4 times 3, all over 5 times 5, which ends up being equal to 12, or excuse me, 2 times 4 times 3, which is 24, over 25. All right. For the cosine 2 theta, I go ahead and you can use one of the bottom three down here, but I'm just going to use this top one. So I'm going to use the cosine squared, which is equal to 3 over 5 squared minus the sine squared, which is 4 over 5 squared, which is going to be equal to 9 over 25, <coughs> excuse me, over 16 over 25 which is going to be equal to negative 7 over 25. Moving on to the half angle of the sine. Using this right here. So I'm going to have plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine, which is starting 3 over 5 in this case, so that would be 2. It's going to be equal to plus or minus square root of 5 over 5. Common denominators, 3 over 5 over 2. Plus or minus square root of, subtract the 5 and the 3, and you get 2 over 5 over 2. And you get a plus or minus square root of 2 over 10, which ends up being, um, uh, you take the radical, of, or you take the square root of both of these, and then you have to, Make, make it so there's no radical on the bottom, and you're ultimately going to end up with plus or minus uh, square root of 2 times square root of 10, which is square root of 20. Let me just make sure that's right here. Yeah, I think it is. Ten. Hmm. Oh, oops. Let me backtrack there a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm not going to restart this whole problem, but uh, all right, yeah. So it's 10, but you can simplify that down into square root of 1 over 5. And coming down here, this ends up being uh, plus or minus uh, 1 over the square root of 5, and then radical top bottom plus or minus square root of 5 over 5. All right, and then we're going to do the cosine of Half angle of cosine, you get plus or minus square root of 1 plus cosine, uh, cosine theta, which is 3 over 5 over 2. I'm just going to skip steps here. So 5 over 5 plus that, plus or minus square root of 8 over 5 over 2. We end up with plus or minus square root of, uh, simplifying it down, we get 4 over 5. And ultimately, we're going to end up with plus or minus um, 2 over the square root of 5. And finally, plus or minus square, uh, 2 square root of 5 over 5. That's it.